Gordon Gee. I'm the president of the Ohio State University. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the Normandy invasion today. Uh, we are welcoming 65,000 students on our campus to go along with our 48,000 faculty and staff. And uh, we are uh, this is our first day of class. And um, so if it's a little raucous and things uh, get a little bit out of hand. Um, uh, it's not me to blame, but nonetheless, we'll figure out how to do this, but we're honored to have you here. I would just note that um, you are um, in the center of the largest, most complex university in this country, an institution that takes great pride in its, um, in its role in this state, uh, the state of Ohio, 11 million of them love this institution on a Saturday afternoon. They're, everyone's a Buckeye, no matter where you graduate from. Um, um, last week we had a little problem that was just a hiccup, but we will get it. So we'll get it. Um, I have a deal with the football coach, and that is he doesn't tell me how to run the university, and I'm telling him how to run the football team, but I may. Anyway, uh, uh, but, but I, I would just note, and this is interesting, uh, and I would say to the governor, this, this uh, ballroom is named after Archie Griffin, uh, the only two-time Heisman Trophy winner uh, in this nation. And Archie is the uh, senior vice president of the university, wonderful, wonderful uh, asset and wonderful uh, spokesman and wonderful leader of the university. And this was this ballroom was given anonymously in his name. Uh, uh, someone gave a uh, trailer park in my name when I left Brown. I want you to know. And, uh, um, and, and of course, I note the very fact that uh, I am the. Uh, you know, uh, Archie is the two-time winner of the Heisman Trophy, but I have a, I have a distinction. I am the two-time winner of the presidency of the Ohio State University, and I'm grateful for that. I want you to know that. So, um, today, this is, this is an important day because we're talking about the future of the state. We're talking about the energy. We're talking about the future of this nation. Uh, and where better than talk about it in this state? Um, this is the center of this, uh, of this country. It's a place that, uh, it's a place that uh, has... Uh, has, has opportunities and assets that very few places have, and a place, a place that has energetic leadership. Our, uh, our governor is, uh, is a man of great vision and great values and great worth to what we're trying to accomplish. And so uh, I'm delighted that he is here, and I'm delighted that Dr. Wadsworth is here, and I'm very pleased that we can welcome all of you and to, um, to, to tell you that this, this institution is committed to making certain that we work with uh, the state and with all of you to develop a, uh, an opportunity that will create uh, a future for uh, all of us. And a future, by the way, that I think will uh, make an enormous difference. So I'm not going to spend much more time other than to say we're delighted to have you here. Welcome to Ohio State. Welcome to, uh, to the state of Ohio for those of you. And most important, welcome to one of the most important conferences we're going to have. Um, uh, and, and at a time in which we were going to be, uh, I think, uh, talking about the most important issues. Uh, Dr. Jeffrey Wadsworth, uh, who will uh, next uh, speak, is uh, one of our most uh, important leaders in this state. Dr. Wadsworth is the president and CEO of Patel, a, a $6 billion uh, firm which does a remarkable things in, uh, in terms of research, the largest private research entity in this country. Um, and uh, one of the most important, and Dr. Wadsworth himself, is a scientist, uh, and a uh, man of great imagination, and a man of, uh, of enormous vision, and who is leading, uh, uh, leading uh, Battelle into new directions, and so we're delighted to have him here. And by the way, I might note that Dr. Wadsworth is also a member of the Board of Trustees of the Ohio State University, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon, for that kind of, kind of words and that introduction. Um, I'd like to thank the governor and his staff and all the diverse stakeholders here for the opportunity for Patel to help organize today's Energy and Economic Summit. Uh, Gordon mentioned that we're a very large independent R&D house, and that's six and a half billion dollars every year that we execute with our labs across the country. About two and a half billion of that is in energy-related work, so energy is something we're very passionate about and that we spend a lot of time on. We help Ohio's manufacturers reduce their energy needs as well as being in diverse fields in Asia. So we run a very broad set of uh, businesses. One of our core founding purposes is education, and particularly in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And tomorrow I'll give a talk on education. And uh, the importance of having the 
the appropriately trained workforce to meet the energy demands of the future. We are on the verge of a global transformation in energy, and it's essential that Ohio has secure, reliable energy for the future, for our economic growth, and for our economic, for our environmental uh, 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 values. And um, you know, I think what we can do in the next two days is show the nation leadership in how to think about an energy policy, because I think many of you, along with me, will agree that we don't have the policies in place that we need for the future. So we're glad to support this conference. Governor Kasich's mission is to make Ohio stronger and more prosperous for all of us. He became governor on January the 10th, and he's quickly gone to work on a bold agenda. He's a man of great passion, great vision, and great intensity. He came into office facing an $8 billion budget shortfall, but quickly worked with the General Assembly to eliminate it while cutting taxes. You can't beat that. He spent 18 years as a member of Congress from Central Ohio. He led the effort to balance the budget for the first time since 1969. He's a former presidential candidate. He's a managing, former managing director of Lehman Brothers. He's a Fox News commentator. And he's a best-selling author. That's quite a resume. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce Ohio's 69th governor, John K.